I recently guided a life survival adventure group down the Rock Springs Run in Apopka, Florida, where I grew up. We launched our canoes from King's Landing off Rock Springs Road and paddled approximately 8.5 miles to Wakaiva Island. This short documentary covers some of the highlights of this adventure. Oftentimes, the water level is so low that I have to get out of the canoe and pull the vessel across the freshwater sandbars. On one such occasion, we decided to break for lunch at Otter Camp in Wakaiva State Park. Here we relaxed in the shallows and discussed some of the edible plants in the area. We also dug mussels and hard clams from the riverbed. Food sources are plentiful. After our break, we ventured a bit further and stopped again to observe a large school of 50 or more garfish. The Florida spotted garfish are edible, but very bony. And some folks claim the fish are tasty when smoked over a fire, but I've, uh, I've yet to be convinced of this. Along the way, we see tons of birds. Some are tiny, darting here and there from tree to bush, and others are a bit bigger, um, plucking minnows and shrimp from the grasses and lilies. And then there are the largest birds of the river. Anybody got an idea what this beautiful bird is? What? Check out this eelgrass. It's that rooted, submerged plant with the ribbon-like leaves that are waving with the water flow. It's pretty common in springs and runs here in Florida, and it provides an excellent habitat for aquatic organisms, including damselflies and snails and all kinds of other small fish. You know, Florida is a great place to learn about nature, the environment, and even primitive survival. Most of the plants you see here in the background are either edible, medicinal, or provide some other resource necessary for survival. Connecting people with nature is our passion, and it's my way of saving the planet. You know, it's, it's tough to have respect for something you don't have a relationship with. So my company, Life Survival, does just that. It connects people with nature. From toddlers to troubled teens, eco-tours to survival adventures, family campouts, and even lectures. There's not much we won't do to get folks outside. We even offer extreme survival adventures with nothing but a knife. King's Landing Outpost in Apopka, Florida has done a phenomenal job of maintaining the beauty of the river, its banks, and the waterway. King's does routine cleanups of the river and provides an excellent outpost service, renting canoes and kayaks, and even provides a return shuttle service from Wakaiva Island on the adjoining Wakaiva River. This is Wakaiva Island, where folks from all over come to play, swim, and relax in the Florida sun and clear, clean waters of the river. Wakaiva Island provides foods, drinks, and is also an outfitter. You can rent kayaks, canoes, and even reserve a cabana for parties, events, or other functions. Just downstream is Shell Island, an ancient native midden, great for lunch breaks on the way to the St. John's River. The island was built up in the middle of the river by ancient generations of of people dumping snail shells, broken pottery, and animal bones.
These are my Florida friends. They're some of the craziest, nicest, and happiest people in the state. They know how to have a good time and maintain a positive culture of respect for the environment and the river. Give us a call at Life Survival to book your next outdoor adventure. We'll build you out an adventure tailor-made for your interest and skill level.